My name is Hans Holsink, uh, Papa Echo and Charlie Kilo Kilo. I'm a radio amateur for 45 years now. And I want to introduce my latest project. Uh, the project is a small transverter to use on the QO100 satellite. I made this transverter uh, for, for portable use. It's very small. You don't need any internet connection or uh, GPS for, for reference, it's all in one small package. This is how it comes, if you buy this uh, set you get a box like this. I will unpack it and uh, show you what you have and later on we show also how it works. We go outside and make a setup. First of all the box is open, what you find is a uh, user manual, it explains everything, how to use it and how to install it. Then the third thing is a, uh, a plastic bag with a cable and a connector. We need that to interface to the power supply and to your transceiver. Then we go further, we have uh, an antenna transmit antenna and, an, and a uh, converter, a down converter to receive the satellite and we have a the SAT rover itself. This case contains all, both transmit and receive and the frequency reference. It's very small, you can put it in your uh, backpack uh, to take it on holiday together with the LMB and the transmit helix and you find somewhere on your holiday address a dish to use it. Because we have to use a dish to work on the satellite. A dish from minimum 60 centimeter up to 90 centimeter that will do offset dish, normal satellite television offset dish. Okay, I explain now what you got and how it works. Okay, we have in the in the back we have two cables. I take them out. The brown cable, that's the transmit cable. It's on the 13 centimeter uh, transmit side. Uh, it's connected from the SAT rover to the helix antenna over here. The black cable is the LNB cable. It, uh, it uh, is also connected between the LNB on this end and the SAT rover on the connector marked LNB. On the antenna side uh, we use uh, this uh, device, it's uh, an LMB, it's a standard LMB, a PLL LMB, converted to accept uh, an external reference, close to 25 megahertz. It goes all uh, via the IF port, so we only have one cable to connect it. Um, the satellite has a linear uh, transmit uh, uh, polarization, so the, it's very important to uh, have this uh, LMB uh, mounted in the right position. The best way to start is to mount it vertical with the connector downwards or with the connector upwards. And later on you can optimize it, uh, optimize the skew angle, that's the difference from the vertical. And that uh, depends on the location where you live. And that's a slightly left or slightly right for optimum uh, reception. On the sent, uh, the sent side, the TX transmit side, we have a, uh, a helix. Uh, in this case, it's a five turn helix antenna. Uh, this unit is only uh, usable on a uh, offset dish with an 
F over D, focus over diameter ratio of uh, 0.6. And uh, the LMB with the six turns is, uh, has an, an angle, illumination angle for that type of uh, dishes. Basically, every standard uh, satellite dish has uh, this uh, focus over diameter ratio. The transmit antenna is a circular antenna. So uh, it doesn't make any uh, difference if you have it in whatever position, uh, just do what is uh, convenient uh, regarding to the cable. This LMB has uh, only one port, it combined the reference and the IF. The first IF is about 650 MHz, for receive it's a double conversion converter, because it goes from 10 gigahertz via 650 gig, uh, megahertz to 144 megahertz 2 meter amateur band. It's all inside. Also the reference is inside. It's an oven controlled crystal oscillator. Uh, if you switch it on the unit you have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes to have the oven uh, on temperature and then the frequency is very stable. So you don't need any uh, reference from GPS or GPSDO, external things. It's all in this box. On the transmit side, uh, it's a single conversion. So it, go, it goes from 144 direct to 2400 MHz. Output power is uh, 4 to 5 Watt. And uh, that's enough. Uh, to work on the satellite, uh, if you have a 60 cm dish, uh, you can make good QSOs. If you have a 90 cm dish, it's more than enough. Uh, sometimes Lila kicks in because she's not agreed with your single st strength. I advise you to use only this cable on the transmit side and not make it longer because on 2.4 GHz. The, the losses are very high on coaxial cables and with this cable it works fine. That means that the transverter itself should be very close to the LMB and we see later that we mount that on the, on the arm, the support arm of the LMB, uh, very close together. Uh, we see more, we have four connectors here, so we have our brown uh, transmit cable, it goes to this port marked TX. We have our black LMB cable, it should be connected to this port marked LMB. We have our uh, IF cable, it goes to the IF. And now it's on this one, 144 marked 144 megahertz, and we the DC power and the PTT status is on the green multipole connector. It works from 10 to 15 volts uh, from battery or from a power supply. The unit uh, has two ways of uh, going to transmit. One is a pull down uh, line on the four pole connector. And it also reacts on a, on a uh, DC voltage uh, superimposed on the IF coaxial cable. For instance, an uh, FT290, very old mobile transceiver, can work directly without any PTT status cable. Okay, what have we here? We have here the small connector. You have to make yourself a cable between the SAT rover and your transceiver. I already made one. You can see here, this is our multipole connector. Uh, red, black for the 12 volt, orange for the PTT status. And we have a coaxial cable tied together to the transceiver on 144 megahertz. On the other side, we have the pin. I use a IC705. 
It has a small jack for transmit uh, PTT status. I have the red and black wire to put the 12 volts on and this goes in the IC705. Uh, the SAT rover itself, this enclosure, is not water resistant. The whole setup is made for uh, holiday and travel uh, purposes and uh, or rover purposes, we call, how we call that. So if you want to have it uh, permanent uh, fixed to your uh, satellite dish, you have to find some kind of watertight uh, enclosure to mount it in and then it will work fine as well. That's all. Uh, we go outside now. I'm going to show you how we uh, connect it uh, together, how the setup is. I use a very small dish, a 60 centimeter dish. So that's on the low end for, for signal strength over the satellite with the 4 watts. And also on reception, what I said, a 90 centimeter dish works the best on the, on the unit. I also show you how to uh, how to uh, find a satellite in an easy way uh, because uh, some people have difficulties with that but do it the way I do it's very easy and you can find it for sure and I show you how you can check your own signal from the downlink to uh, to see if it's all correct and uh, that you're not over driving the satellite. Yeah, let's go outside. Now we are, we are outside. Uh, you see here on my left side a typical setup for the QO100 station with the SAT rover. You see the SAT rover is mounted to the LMB holder by a uh, tie wrap. The LMB helix combi is mounted in the normal way, uh, on the normal way how the LMB should be mounted. And you see the LMB is in a vertical position. The LMB is a linear polarized unit, so it should be in this position. If you rotate it by 90 degrees, you don't receive anything. The transmit antenna helix is here. You can mount it in every position or rotate it in any position because it's a circular, circular polarization. Uh, what you see here is the transmit cable goes to the connector transmit on the SAT rover. The LMB cable uh, combined with the reference is to the LMB port on the SAT rover. And here we have uh, our DC uh, connector and uh, PTT status uh, with the orange uh, wire on the four pole connector and the IF cable to the 2 meter transceiver, the 144 megahertz transceiver, my IC705. You can see the IC705 here, it's on battery now. Uh, you see the cable here coming from the SAT rover, it's the coaxial cable and the DC uh, wires. Uh, the coaxial cable goes into the antenna port of the IC705. Um, the DC cable, we have 12 volt, uh, the red and the black wire, I have it red and black, is the 12 volt from this small power supply. And the PTT status uh, is uh, on the jack on the side of the IC705 on the send uh, port. That's all we have to do to hook up uh, the 705. We are tuned in uh, on uh, 2 meters because it's a transverter from uh, the QO100 to uh, 2 meter, uh, both uh, transmit and receive. So this is all hooked up and we are ready to, uh, to find uh, the satellite. I know it's somewhere over there and I want to show you how I uh, find the satellite in a very easy way. Uh, I switch my uh, 705 to FM on uh, 144 500 MHz. That's uh, the frequency of the lower beacon of the QO100 uh, satellite. I switch it to FM, I turn the squelch down and uh, I hear the noise 
and I'm uh, pointing uh, to the satellite to minimize the noise. Uh, it's very easy because it's very, uh, the threshold is very good for FM and you can, can aim very easily in that uh, way. I turn it on now. And you can see the lower beacon uh, on the waterfall. Uh, so we, we aimed it out and uh, we are now ready for, uh, for the transmit sequence. Now we have uh, found the satellite. On the waterfall you can see uh, the, the, the two tones of the satellite. If I go to... If I go to single sideband, you can hear the lower beacon of the satellite. We are ready uh, with aiming the beam. Now we're gonna check our signal. Yeah, reception is working. We hear the beacon. As you hear, as I turn the volume on. So now we're gonna work on the transmit side of, uh, of the SAT rover. First of all, we try to, to check our, our own signal. We can do that uh, several ways, but I show you uh, one. First, we're gonna find an, uh, an empty frequency on the satellite. Uh, I'll do it uh, in FM, That's, then it goes faster. Yes, we have uh, 650, that's an empty, uh, empty satellite. We have a look here. If you, uh, if you want to see if you're uh, if you're exactly on frequency with your transmitter, you can see your own echo. So you make a transmission to the satellite and short after it you receive the echo from the, the delay of the satellite. And you can see that in the screen. By checking uh, my, uh, my echo, I'll, I'll know if my frequency is exactly on spot. If it's a little bit off because of drift it can be the, the doppler of the of the satellite and some drift in the sat rover but also some drift in the satellite itself it can be off for 200 hertz maximum so we have a very good reference in the sat rover it's an ocxo it's very stable very spot on frequency but still there is some drift due to the other factors we can see our own signal. I do that in FM to make a carrier and I turn my, uh, my uh, microphone uh, gain down to zero so that I only send out a carrier. By pushing the microphone I can see the carrier back and it should be in line with the frequency I transmit. Now I make a transmission, you can see the yellow line. When I stop the transmission there is, appears a small white dot. You can see it here, it's just right of the yellow line. With my RIT control, I'll set it in, in position so it should be in line with the yellow line. Now you can see it, it's on top of the yellow line. That means I'm fully transceive and I have an offset of 80 Hz. That's close to nothing. Maximum it will rise up to 200 Hz, but most of the time it's about this value. Now we're going to check our, uh, our signal over the satellite. I do that with a uh, web SDR, uh, the QO100 mobile web SDR from the BATC. I switch over to USB, I turned on my uh, my mic microphone gain again and I'm ready to transmit and to hear myself back on the web SDR. I tried it. One, two, three, one, two, three, hello. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, hello. You can, you can hear yourself back via the web SDR and uh, it shows all everything works. 
Okay, I'll take this down. We are not too strong because this is a very small dish. It's only a 60 centimeter dish. And we have only four to five watt output. So it's a not too strong signal, but it's perfect to make QSOs of over uh, QO100. Now we're ready. We can find some stations and make QSOs. You can see there is some activity on the satellite. Uh, there are some stations uh, making QSOs. I'll try to tune in on one of them, but it disappears. We always see that as a demonstration. If you make, want to make a QSO with this station, just push the microphone and talk to it. It's as simple as talking to your neighbor as you used to uh, on ham radio. Uh, now you're ready for uh, making QSOs on the, on the satellite with the SAT rover. It's very small, very easy to take with you to the camping or on, on holiday. And uh, it uh, makes lots of fun to use.